Hello there, my name is Stella Hardiman uh, and this is the Faith Cafe channel and I'm bringing you some prayers for a pandemic uh, which uh, are based uh, and adapted from Roots Christian Resources. Well, I wonder how you are feeling today. Whenever I put on the TV, uh, there's always something about COVID-19. Uh, and here in the, the UK, we are still in lockdown. Uh, hopefully, uh, the restrictions are going to be eased shortly, but not really by very much. It's going to be a considerable time uh, before we can actually do the things that we used to be able to do and be completely free. Uh, but there seems to be uh, so much uh, disease and grief all over the world and uh, I can see at the moment from the TV uh, how uh, much COVID-19 there seems to be in France and Italy, um, uh, in Eastern Europe and all over the world. So if you'd just like to pray along with me. We start with a prayer of hope and grief. God of love, by your son's resurrection, you show us that suffering and even death are not the end. Be with us through him in our times of doubt and fear. Unite us through Christ with those whom we love. And when the darkness is gone, raise us through him to new life, through the same Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Uh, and uh, I'm praying as well for all who have uh, gone through the death of a loved one recently, all those who are mourn. Uh, Jesus said in the Beatitudes, of course, blessed are those who mourn. God has a special blessing, a special heart of compassion towards you and we grieve with you in your mourning. A prayer seeking God's presence. Lord, we pour our stories out to you right where we are. Will you meet with us here and now and draw us close so that we can feel your presence and hear your voice? Warm our hearts so that they burn with an in us. Open our eyes so that we can see. Tell us your story. Reveal our place in it. Lead us on into your ways, O Lord. Amen. A verse of remembrance. Just remembering the verse from Psalm 116, which says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. But that loved one that you miss so much, whom you grieve for, who you think of, that person is precious in the sight of the Lord. And that person's death wasn't just a, just a, any old death. God counts the death of your loved one as infinitely precious. Loving Lord, at a time when many have been lost to us, when even the last goodbye may be stolen by the measure needed to keep people safe, we thank you that every one of your children is precious in your sight, seen by you and known by you from the first to the last of our days. Comfort and strengthen all who mourn. Bring peace to those who are frightened and be with us all evermore. Amen. Prayer of inspiration and commitment. God, our creator, too often we live with the notion that we are in control of our lives. 
when storms and earthquakes disrupt and destroy lives in other places, we say, oh, that's so sad for them. But then a virus comes along, something so much tinier than a hurricane or a tsunami, and we quake before its power. Dear God, we open our hands and our hearts to you. Help us to remember that they are precious in your sight. And Lord, I give you my hands and my heart and ask that you will use it, that you will use them for your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen.